Outrage in the Southwest Valley neighborhood after a party at an Airbnb rental erupts into a shootout. Police are not sharing much and we have not heard of any injuries. This despite multiple homes being hit by bullets. Fox 5's Joe Vigil took a trip to the scene. He heard from concerned neighbors and the owner of that Airbnb. It's around 2.30 Monday morning. Families are sleeping. So right here, I guess a bullet hit here and here. Ty Rodriguez's home was hit near Fort Apache and Blue Diamond. Her home wasn't the only one blasted. We counted at least five different homes with bullet holes. One home had at least five holes. A couple on the garage door, one even hit a car. Uh, we are told there was arguing and then gunfire here. That is crazy. I didn't even realize how many houses got hit. Um, it's just crazy to think that it could happen in your own neighborhood. And, you know, it could have easily went through the house and injured people that were most likely sleeping, animals, kids, or anything. This bullet did go through someone's home. The neighbors let me inside. Okay, so the bullet came in here, ricocheted off the wine cooler right there, and then hit over there. So a moment ago, you heard one barrage of gunfire. This is the second that happened about a minute later. We heard that over 50 shots were fired in this oh neighborhood. God. That's unbelievable, terrible, terrible. Why? Why those kids bring guns to the private birthday party? Are they crazy? This woman rented her home an Airbnb for a 20-year-old woman's birthday party. You know, a lot of your neighbors are really upset uh, about uh, what happened and specifically um, with you guys in this home for having these actually, big parties. Yeah, actually, um, I, I don't know the party, what's going on. I'm not here. It's a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three day. I'm not here. She says she also didn't know about the damage, so we showed her. If you want to look, there's bullet holes right over here. You see the vase has got a hole. There's two holes right there. Okay. And then the, see that hole right up there? Oh, God. God, it's unbelievable. I'm really sorry. When we were showing her this home, someone came home. There's a bullet hole in his God. car, too. Do you see the bullet hole in his car there? Yeah, yeah, I see. God, it's unbelievable. She then walked up to a man and hugged him. No, no party anymore, no party. I swear no party yeah, for here. No. Two shots of the car, seven shots at the house. I, I would invite everyone to, to my place to really deeply apologize, and I do. I will fix anything for you, too. You know, I, 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 I responsible. I, I responsible for that. I'm really sorry for that. He said he's glad no one was shot, including his kids. He then left and said he'd talk to her later and wasn't up to talking with us after a pretty scary scene, not just for him, but many people. Joe V. Hill, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. One neighbor told us they want Pan kicked out of the neighborhood. She disputed there have been parties every other weekend, like some neighbors have claimed. She says the last one was about seven months ago. She adds she wants to know who fired and will be calling police to provide the information, including who rented the home.